Hello, YouTube world. Just going to get on and work on the skirt. So that's what it looks like right now. So for the legs, or excuse me, for the bottom of the, so for the skirt and then the bowl, right? So for the skirt, I decided to go with um, using the, the less than the thickest wire I have and then going on uh, through the bottom of this thing and then attaching the legs with these. We'll see how it works out, but I'm really excited. Let's continue. Don't forget that there is links in the description to channels you may enjoy and to The Art of War by Sun Tzu. I always recommend that book to everyone for everything. And don't forget the Discord. Link in the description for all my live chats. So if you're late to this one, then uh, you'll have to catch the next one. All right, let's continue. Looks minimal, but I can tell you put in a ton of work. Oh man, uh, it's more mental work than anything. Just trying to figure out exactly how this will work uh, to the best. Like, this is strong. I'm telling you, if I make a mistake down here, and one like this one here is not exactly, it's more concave than the rest of them, <laughs> I really don't think I can do anything about it. Like, that, that is, that is like the most freaking, all the tension is right over here, and if I bend it, I can, I can only bend this, so it's just like, oh well, I guess I gotta, <laughs> I gotta deal with it, and just work around it. And uh, keeping these things straight while I'm doing it is also quite a challenge. Because uh, they're all curving in all kinds of different directions. And i got to make sure that they're nice and, nice and straight for us here. Alright. Let's see if I can't scooch in a bit more and then we'll, we'll go down some. Alright. I guess you guys are going to see my crotch, but whatever. Let's see if I can't uh, make it go down some more. Oh man, am I gonna have enough room to work? Uh, look, let me see if I have enough room to work. Let's uh, let's begin. Okay. Gotta figure out where I stopped. So this is where I stopped. Squeeze that wire between the the old ones. Oh shit. Now because this has already got a loop, I'm just gonna go around the corner here. The wire's strong enough and it'll be pinched in there, so it's not gonna be too big of a deal. If it's not hanging on for dear life. Make sure that the wire's not all crimpled up. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's get some music going. The mental aspect. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh man, and you know, it's going to come to you at the last minute too. There we go. That's better. Oh, right, music. Hang on. Finish this loop. Get some music going. Oh, man. It's caught up in my sleeve. <laughs> do, 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 
but don't judge. However long that took, we just came full circle. One layer so far since I began the live. You know, judging based on how long it's taking so far, I think this one is going to be quite the price. Uh, so I'm going to have to make a little bit of an investment on the stone that's going to be hanging from it. Um, maybe even investing in some uh, uh, some more crystals to go along the legs or something. If we're going to go all out, right? May as well go all out. This project here, okay, I've been doing wire art for about a year now, right? And this project has cut me more off, more than any other. I've got scratches all over my hands and on my palms. Freaking, uh, um, the wires up here, I had to file them down and hammer them with, you know, hammer and blunt to get them to stop stabbing and scratching my hands so bad. And the arms. I think the next wire is going to have to be much longer. That always poses a problem though, because it's always in the way. coming out nicely so far let's check the wires wires are looking good <sighs> you know what though I have so many of this length already I may as well use these <sighs> I don't need to Pull out more wire. I've pulled out more wire in the last week. Oh man. Pulled out more wire in the last week than I have in a long time. Or ever, really. My chest hurts because I opened, I closed the door, okay? Believe it or not, I closed the door on my chest. The point of the door is totally unpadded and it just wanged me real good. Oh man. Freaking, uh, suffering. <sighs> All right, so we got that. See if I can make a gap there before I need to. There, okay. Now we have a wire inside there. Ah. Now you can see it. The wire inside there we got trimmed before too long because then I won't be able to hammer. Uh, it's hard to hammer in there 
for now so we're gonna have to trim this before we curl it over ah, come on gotcha wire fell in there so we're just gonna coax it out Whew. There's ways to making you cooperate. Just a little bit of leverage and the risk of damage, and it's in there. Oh man. Well, we gotta straighten out this wire here, so maybe I'll do a few. Whew. Got my chocolate milk today. It is just so freaking hot in Texas right now. Even though it recently rained, all it does is just make it humid. The sun hits that wet ground and it just gets so steamy. Oh, goodness. Alright. Let's put this down. Ah! Always oh, running over my pants. Just barely. Barely. Long enough for maybe we'll be able to straighten it out. So maybe this is a good length. Okay. You know, that really is the difference between some people and others. Is that, um... I don't have any equipment or anything like that. All I've got is just a... I use three pairs of pliers in everything I do, you know, and sometimes only one. Whereas some people spend a fortune on tools for specific purposes, I don't have that kind of money, so I have to figure out ways to, to uh, straighten out wire without buying some expensive piece of machine. Um, so the leg of a chair or a table serves just as much a purpose in my art than uh, just about everything else, even my nail polish, right? Like every, anything I can get on my, uh, get my hands on, I will use in my, in my tools. Alright, one more wire, let's continue. Now, I'm sure it's not a unique thing. I, I imagine Brian King does it as well. Alright, so I need to stop bending those wires back. Right. 
right in my face. Okay. Maybe 30 more hours of labor to go. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's the hard part, man. Is getting through the middle of the project. <sighs> Beginning, the middle, and the end, I guess. Shit. done a, a terrible thing here. Let's see if I can rectify the problem. Okay, I think I... I think that's gonna be okay. It'll have to endure the fog ups. Thing about these live videos you really don't have to watch the whole thing 
I can really just skip to the end and see how far I've gotten. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, man. It's too good. One more. Just fine. Straighten out another one. Uh, 
can't think of a better way to film this. It's gonna have to be further away because the um, camera gets in the way of the wire, so we're gonna since we got enough close up, let's do a little bit far.
so that uh, it'll be just the music playing. I guess I don't have to be mute.
Heck yeah, bro. It's good to see you.
It's like a torch. <laughs>
What's up, mythical oxy oxyclean? How, how's it going? This is what we're working on right now. The skirt. I don't want it to be too coney. Gotta be careful. Yeah, see, it's all kind of bent right there. I wonder if I'll ever be able to figure out how to get that unbent. Probably not. Ow. Just gotta be more careful in the future. Now I'm about to uh, get another piece of wire ready. All of my wire is um, recycled, so it's got a factory finish on it. Well, thank you. Are you new to this channel? i tell you, there's all kinds of crazy stuff we do in this channel here. Let me show you the uh, one of the things that I wear the most. This thing here, I wear this everywhere. And... Uh, um, Late night, going to the drive-thru, right? I'll put this thing on, and uh, it's just, it's part of my look now. Then I've got a whole bunch of other ones. There's definitely, you know. Ah, sorry, I'm just trying to move my tripod. Come on. And all these. Oh, there's such a pain in the ass to get out. Let's see. Is this one here? Got my headdresses. Let's see another one. Oh, come on. They're all hooked on there, so. But the, this one fits probably the best, I would say. It's got a uh, Lapita light in the middle there and two amethysts on either side. This will be one of my formal crowns, that kind of thing. Like, if I'm going to an opera or something, I would probably wear this. Or, you know, like a dinner restaurant or, you know, something nice. But uh, then otherwise, I'd just wear this one. I should probably wear, you know, interchange them and stuff like that, but I really like this one. Let me put this one away again. <laughs> Then I have an earlier crown here. Let me show you. Oh man, let's see if I can get this off clean and not knock anything else off. There we go. This is definitely one of my favorites as well. So it's like a... The amethyst in the middle there. So check out this amethyst, right? Come on. All right, take a look at this. It's like an eye. <laughs> like, oh! Just imagine a cool looking top hat. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, it would probably be very uncomfortable, but I guess if you padded it, it would probably be just fine. Let me show you uh, another one of my 
uh, things here I think you might really like. Hang on, I gotta attach that on there. Ah, oh, I just messed up my music. <sighs> Hang on just a second, let me fix my music. Maybe you guys can hear it, but I can't. Okay, I think we made it. <laughs> so, uh, tell you the kind of troubles this computer gives me over the years. I've probably had it in like six years now. This one here is uh, probably my absolute favorite piece for a while now, and uh, I actually took it out to the club not too long ago, and uh, um, it was weird, right? Like I asked them firsthand uh, before I got there. I was like, "Is it okay if I wear like a full-on covers my total totally covers my head mask?" And they're like, "Yeah, I mean, as long as you've got your ID at the front door, you should be fine." And so, even when I got there, even when I got permission, right, <laughs> confirmation that I could do it, I still felt like, okay, all right, honest guess, just don't look like you're about to explode, you know, and you'll be fine. But even then, someone actually had the goal to come up to me on the dance floor. Nobody can hear anything, right, other than the music. And uh, she asked me to take the mask off because her daughter was you know was uncomfortable so instead of making a big deal out of it though I just I just told her that I was an artist and uh, she could take a look at my stuff and whatnot and so she subscribed to my channel and now the uh, so now they now they I think they do a, a little better with the masks and stuff like that if you know if, if it's too uncomfortable I think uh, leaving is probably the best thing to do but yeah, for sure. I, I wear this with my trench coat and my hood, stuff like that. It sure did. I agree. It it's it's very shiny, very, very um, futuristic almost. Like I can see Daft Punk wearing something like this, that kind of thing, which is probably like, or which is why I called it cyberpunk. And it comes back up and goes down for any kind of need for that sort of thing. I got my other ones too. It does. Yeah, I, there's actually uh, somebody who makes metal, uh, sheet metal masks and uh, she does all kinds of crazy things like swirly horns and uh, you know that, that large beak that you're talking about. Uh, I don't want to mess up my music again. Now yeah, let's just be careful. Okay. Then I got this one here. And this will be the last one I'll show you. Before I get back, you know, back on to working on it. This one you actually see a little better out of. Put it up like that. Um, I want to say since this was my first mask, this probably took. 15 hours or so, that, that, about that much or whatever. That other one took about 20 or so, but I essentially sew really thin wire. You can actually see see me through it. So you can actually... But when you're wearing it, though, 
let's put this on real quick. But when you're wearing it though, you can't see the there's no light shining on my face, so you can't see my eyes or my mouth or anything, and everything is covered behind, uh, um, is covered by the black. So yeah, this is one of my favorite masks for sure. And one more thing. One more thing. <sighs> oh, where'd it go? it didn't spill. It all started out with this eye patch. Oh, I gotta fix it. Whatever. But uh, this this eye patch here was a complete and total accident. And uh, I can see through it and everything so it, you know, not so... I don't want to drive with it, but uh, um, this thing here was just a an experiment I wanted to play with the uh, weaving of it <sighs> come on there we go yeah I love my eye patch I need to wear it more often people seem to be a little more apprehensive to the eye patch though than to the headdresses uh, I guess people are just less comfortable with asking if they legitimately think there's a messed up eye behind it or something I don't know all I know is that I love this eye patch I gotta wear it someday again I used to take it to Walmart and whatnot but um, then I started making other stuff let's get back to uh this one here. A nice long wire. It's wavy, so I have to uh, I have to run it through the the leg of the table real quick. Wait, this is too thick. Hang on. That's really funny. It's hilarious, actually. That was meant to be part of the legs. Or not the legs, but... A skull type of mask? I actually, I was getting around to it, but uh, it's... I don't know. I guess I'm just not terribly good at that sort of rendering. You know, like um, making something that looks like something else. This is about as far as I got with the skull mask before I kind of gave up a little bit. So far, it just looks like this. But it's not really skull-like, so, you know, it's just whatever. Maybe Spartan, but, you know, who knows. Maybe I'll pick it up again one day. Ooh, 
that's not long enough. Time to break out the big guns. <laughs> Futuristic sunglasses, yeah. Okay. Probably gonna have to stand up for this one. There we go. I think I could make a nice long one with this. Maybe I'll just go ahead and go all the way. The trouble is, is maintaining the length, you know, the, the tail end when you're trying to get that thing to go all the way around the... When you're trying to attach it. Actually, I think I'll cut it off there. So greasy. So oily. Oh man, it's not long. It's too long. <laughs> I think I managed to get it. Alright. Get back on it. Yeah, beat the hell out of it, crap. Told who got. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Ooh, how shall I do it? Did you get, uh... Oh, uh, for sure, man. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, bro. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.
After I finish this wire, I think I'm going to call it a night because my hands are really not feeling good. <laughs> They're starting to blister. Alrighty guys, got quite a bit done. We went from here to here. And it does look to be close to it. Just gotta, just gotta figure out what I'm gonna make, if I'm gonna keep it going straight down like that, or if I'm gonna flare it out nice and quick, grab the legs. Because this, these aren't touching the ground, right? These are actually going to be holding onto the legs. So, um, well, it'll be really interesting to see how that works out. Anyway, I'll see you later, guys. I'm going to head off. I'm going to give my hands some rest um, because uh, this is a much tougher wire than my other ones. And, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Take it easy, Brian.